<laughs> Surprise! <laughs> retro, are you here? Retro, can we get a retro check immediately? We need retro check immediately. Um, surprise, my patch is here. So before we go too far, I want it to be said before the internet lights me ablaze and say that this was designed to be um, more of like the April Fool's patch, not a competitive balance patch. But I won't lie, I did put in things that I do think should be in competitively as well, but like you could tell they're very different. And I actually have a separate list for that as well. Um, maybe that'll be a separate video. Maybe I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, we'll see. But let's read this, shall we? Overwatch Experimental Patch Notes, November 30th, 2021. Creator Experimental Update. In this limited edition experimental card, we will feature over-the-top balance changes coming directly from Overwatch content creators. Each creator will submit changes for any of the heroes within their role. Here are the first creator experimental card participants responsible for the role changes. Wanted to make something fun. You know, a lot of people enjoyed the April Fool's patch. Um, Blizzard devs... <laughs> Overwatch Team 4 got a lot. The content king. Thanks, Sam. Got a lot of good feedback about it. Um, and they wanted to do something similar, but like, you know, outside of just their own ideas, like ideas from the community. And for those who aren't aware, why well, I think most are, is I'm pretty loud about wanting um, changes and wanting more content. And I, a few months ago, if you don't remember, leaned in and said, I don't care what it is. Let's just have. An absolute over-the-top stuff, wacky, fun. Let's just have fun with it. Like, we're all in limbo till Overwatch 2. Um, we understand the game's going to completely be changing. It's We're not going to get that, like, you know, any major Overwatch 1 changes. Let's have fun with what we got. Let's go through it. Violet was doing support for this. I was doing tanks. Sandra did DPS. Be sure to read up on the patch notes, jump into the game, and practice with your team. Prepare for the Creator Cup Tournament. Hop on over to Overwatch Flash Ops Experimental Card Exper uh, Creator Cup page to learn more and sign up. Let's go there first really quick. <sighs> Through the power of editing. Okay, just said, wait, what? It didn't work. Um, okay, well, apparently that's not working at the moment, so never mind. Power editing, go back. But basically, uh, there's actually going to be a tournament. Uh, there is going to be a tournament on this patch. Uh, I can show you guys what it is and whenever the link starts working. And uh, yeah, I'm putting together a team for it. I've already got, I've already got most of the squad put together um, for the tournament. But yeah, you guys know I love tournaments. You guys know I love the tournament arcs. So not only is it a balance patch, not only is it a fun April Fools patch. But it's also a tournament. Pilot Diva quick melee damage increased from 30 to 100. Now, hear me out on the rest of it. Defense matrix size increased by 10%. Boosters increased from 2 to 4 seconds. Speed increased by 25. What was that? Um, That was weird. And lastly, eject. Ejecting fire. out of mech now ejects you at 15 sorry, meters per second up and 10 meters per second in the direction you are holding this means that when you bomb or you you go zoom and eject out of mech combine that with the 100 damage and you have assassin diva no longer is bomb because now if you think about how bomb works right in high level play when you shoot bomb in the enemy team Everybody scatters, it forces lamp, etc. Now, if you scatter, you have to look out for a little assassin coming for that ass. Because Diva's hard to hit. So, if she hits two melees on you, you're done. You're dead. Health changed from 200 health and 250 armor to one health. God damn it, did it again. What's happening? To one health and 399 armor. So basically, I wanted to change Arissa's health from 450 to 400, but I thought that she'd be too weak. So I made her entire health pool because she's a robot. Arissa is a robot, don't forget. I made her whole health part 
card, whole whole health pool into armor. The card is gone. Okay, then just well, it'll fix itself. That's there's probably something happening on the Blizzard end right now because I did go up late. Something's probably happening with the servers. Give it time. As long as I don't leave this screen, we can still go through all the changes. So so bear with me. <clears throat> and also, she wears a hat. Listen. If I learned anything from BlizzCon, is that if you give a hero a hat, that hero's fun ability increases by 50%. Now, everybody knows I don't like Arissa. So if I give her a hat, and a Christmas hat at that, if we in the spirit of the holidays, maybe we can start a trend where we can give more heroes hats. The perfect patch doesn't exist. Flats. <laughs> Protective barrier reduced from 600 to 300. Cooldown Thanks. reduced from 10 to 8 seconds. Fusion driver no longer slowed while firing. So when Arissa shoots, she's Thanks. going the same Is speed. F2? <laughs> He's offline. So Arissa, while she's shooting, she will be moving at full Thanks. speed. Now I am a Richard main over the Christmas hat. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, guys. Uh, I want. Okay, so listen. Let me. I'll explain the, the thinking after. Fortify increased from four to six seconds. Can now be headshot while using fortify. Uh, cooldown reduced from six to four seconds. So my idea with Arissa was that Hog is such a flanker right now, right? Such a flank tank. I hate, I like Arissa Hog. I hate Sigma Hog. I think, no, sorry, Sigma Arissa. I think Sigma Arissa is boring. I think Hog Arissa is fun. So Hog has a very flanky play style. So I decided to try to get Arissa to be the similar flank. Low shield, high mobility, pull pretty often. This way she can also be on the move and try to be like very like, aggressively like going in and out of team fights well with the hog but i also took away some of her uh tankiness with still being able to be headshot took away some health but i gave her more fortify so that she has like um uh she doesn't just explode she has like an ability to run away and, and to move in and out plus i don't like cc that much and it and, and it, it takes away her getting CC'd, which doesn't happen that often, but if Arissa plays Brawly, it probably will happen. Reinhardt. Okay, this one we might have went a little crazy with, but there's there's good ones and there's, you know, okay. Listen, you can't blame me on this one because to be honest with you, I think Ryan's not even going to be good in this patch compared to the other ones. It's still going to be good. It'll be fun, but regardless. Health, armor health increased from 200 to 225. So I didn't put him back at 550 like he was before, we put him at 525. I, I, I'm a gra I am a graceful king. king. This is the funniest stuff I've seen in two years of Overwatch content. This is so amazing. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. I, 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 I'm, hey, I can compromise. Not 550, 525. Let's make a deal. Barrier field increased from 600, 1,600 to 2,000. I know the original breaking barriers patch was to get away shields, but I don't think Ryan should be considered the same type of shield as Arissa or Sigma because he can't do everything at once. Sigma can do everything at once. Arissa can do everything at once. Ryan can either damage or shield. And I think that he should have the strongest barrier by far because of that. Fire Strike, I reduced damage from 100 to 80, but I gave him two charges, and the projectile speed is increased by 100%. Thanks. So if you That's play fair, game. motherfucker, I'm sick of not dealing game? with your ass. Your ass is coming back down, I swear to God. Yeah, oh, I was. You, 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 dude, I've been practicing DPS for the last couple weeks for a goddamn reason. You don't understand. I am ready for this. My aim is better than it ever has been before. After grinding Apex, after grinding DPS, I am ready to snipe. Sniper Ryan has been born. Earth Shatter, knockdown duration increased from 2.5 to 3 seconds. I think that's an actual balance change that legitimately should happen to Ryan. So I had to put it in there. Even though it's not exactly like April fools and fun, I think that that is an absolute minimum. Please, Jeff, Andy, anyone that's listening, please. 
There's so many barriers. There's so many stuns that this should have some reward. I'm begging you. Uh, now deals 400 damage in a 1.5 meteor radius around the impact point. So if you jump off the top rope chat and you shatter on someone's head, it does 400 damage. So... Let's say you're hiding on Hanamura second on above the choke, and a team runs through the choke, going to point, and you jump down and go, ha boom! You will do 400 damage to whoever you land on within that 1.5 meter radius of the hammer hitting the hitting the ground. Now that's what I fucking call hammer down, motherfucker. Additionally, blocking an enemy shatter now plays the voice line, "You shame yourself." So if you if you shatter another Rhine's shield, the other Rhine will say, you shame yourself. Blocking an enemy shatter now shows up in the kill feed using Rhine's shield icon. So everybody knows. No more, no more little bullshit of like, oh, I blocked it, or oh, like I or like you make some crazy ass play and you block shatter, and your teammates literally don't even notice. Guess what? Now they're gonna goddamn notice. They're going to notice. And steadfast knockback resistance increased from 30 to 40%. That one is a little bit different. I, I think 30% is a little too weak. I think 50% is too strong. I wanted to see how 40 felt. That's more of like an actual patch. I just want to see how it feels. So I, I'm going to be honest. I used, I used part of this to like kind of actually feel out what could be used to change like the game and like how it would feel because of, you know, how, how the game currently feels. And would this actually make it better? We'll see. But. Regardless. Roadhog. Okay, you guys all know I'm a Roadhog hater. So I went to Six. Y'all know Six. Me and Six are friends. And I asked Six, if you could keep one thing about Roadhog, what are you keeping? He was like, what do you mean? I go, Hog has amazing survivability with his self-heal damage resistance, good damage for shield breaking, a one-shot. What are you keeping? And he said... Hook one shot. And I said, okay. So I reduced his maximum HP from 600 to 500. His scrap cannon pellets reduced from 6.6 .6 to 5.0, which means that his damage is absolutely put back into the ground. But in return, chain hook does not 30 damage, but 70 damage. And I decreased the cooldown to six. Now, if you don't remember, I decreased Arissa's cooldown as well. So hooks and pulls will be happening much more often. Now, Hog will have to do the melee combo to kill 250 HP targets, but he will still get one shots. So if the Hog can hit their hooks on squishies, they will get more value. But Hog should not get value by just existing and standing there. The hero is not a contributor to the rest of the team. He should only be getting value if they actually are doing the things that they need to do to, to pop off and play well. I think just being a meat bag that sits there and taking damage is terrible. So I threw his ass into the abyss. Further into the abyss than Arissa. So that's that's how you know I feel about it. Take a breather. Reduced healing from 300 to 250 to compensate. So it's still 50% of his health pool. And whole hog, my favorite point. Now lifts Roadhog while using it if he's pointed downwards. So, you know, you know, 12 hogs, one hole. So if you get hooked and you pop your ult and look down, you fly up. That happens. So if you're ever on hog and you want to take high ground or you want to get out of a situation, you can pop whole hog and put it at the ground and you go up. Thank you. When pigs fly. Pigs actually are flying. You don't, you never thought you'd see the day where I got control of the game. You could say, pigs fly level before that'll happen. Well, guess what? Pigs are flying now, mother motherfucker, dude. It's happened. So pigs are flying. I am now in the driver's seat. I am the captain now. Sigma. Now, Sigma I had a little bit of help from Emong with. So let's talk about this. I actually think this is one of the most interesting. Health increase from 300 to 400 to bring him to a 500 total. So Hog is now on the same par as Sigma health-wise. Sigma is now able to hold jump while airborne to slow his descent. So I gave Sigma like angelic descent like Mercy has. So if Sigma falls off high ground, he can hold space bar and he will float his way to the ground. You know what I'm saying? So he'll be able to float around and like uh, 
that also works with his ult. So if he ults and he flies all the way to the height limit on his ult, then he can fly back down very slowly. You get what I'm saying? He can kind of control himself on the way down. Thank you. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a Superman? No, it's Hawkman. <laughs> <laughs> Experimental barrier is gone. Gone. Barriers. See you later. We took the barrier away. Gave him 100 HP extra. I buffed his rock to increase damage from 30 to 40. Explosion damage increased from 40 to 50. But it's now reflectable slash deflectable by Genji. And D.Va can eat it as well. This gives it so he has a one shot again. So Sigma used to have a one shot where you hit a rock and then a left click. It would one tap someone. Thank you. That's so back. elegant going back to the floor, you woo. But also, Sigma also says his yes voice line after every use. So if you rock, it says yes. Yep, rock. Now lastly, Kinetic Grasp. Cooldown reduced from 12 to 8. And his movement speed is increased by 100% while active. <laughs> I have to show you. When Sigma is moving at with Lucio's speed at a 100% with Suck, holy shit, it is so funny. Next, we have Winston. Knockback effects are now 30% less effective against Winston. Basically, Winston has Steadfast. 30% Steadfast. This means... That when the, the classic Aspen clip of Brig just bonking back the Winston over time, he won't go as far. Winston deals 100% more damage to deployable objects. Barriers, turrets, etc. This does not apply to Reinhardt shield or Brig shield. But applies to Orisa shield or if Sigma shield existed, it would apply to Orisa shield, uh, to Sigma shield. But also to turrets like Torb and Sim. Jump Pack now deals up to 100 damage to enemies within 4 meters of the launch location. So if Winston jumps right now, it does 1 damage. 1 damage. Now, if you are standing under Winston, his blowback from his Jump Pack, his fart juice, his, 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 his push, will do up to 100 damage. This can snowball really fucking quickly. Travel speed has been increased as well by 30%. He jumps 30% further. Primal Rage, health bonus increased from 500 to 1,000. So Primal will give 1,500 HP as opposed to 1,000. AKA making Primal the highest HP ability and ultimate in the game. AKA what it should be. Last, second, no, second to last. Wrecking Ball. Thank you. Dude, this is the best balance patch ever. Send flats. Send resume <laughs> Blizzard. Yeah, you say that. We can't wait for all the people that come in like, what the fuck is this? This is, this can't believe this is real. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be April Fool'sy. It's supposed to be a little wacky. That's the whole point. I'm on fire! Uh, Raider, thanks for the Prime performance. Appreciate it. Does it include Primal? We're going to find out. We're going to find out, Rambling. That's why I said it could snowball fast. Grappling Claw. Max duration is now 3.5 seconds. What that means is that ball can't spin around on the point for an hour. You can only hold on for 3.5 seconds. Roll. Jump height increased by 100%. So where he's in the ball form and he jumps... He's 100% higher. Bouncy ball has been engaged. Full speed impact damage on collisions reduced from 50 to 40. Can now change direction more quickly and easily. AKA ball has power steering. So ball 
if you, I want to see Yedel play on power steering. I don't know what that's going to look like, but I want to see. So basically, what I think of it is you're playing Temple of Anubis first, and you swing once around the point and go into the inside where like the, the mini is. Could you do a full fucking 180 through there and just like, oh, I don't like you playing Mario Kart and fly back out on the point? Pile driver, maximum damage reduced from 20 to 15. Uh, no, sorry, minimum damage reduced from 20 to 15, and maximum damage reduced from 10 to 100 to 80. Cooldowns reduced to 8 seconds, though, and can now be used from a slightly lower height. What that means is, is if you jump on ball, you can slam immediately. Yo, Echo Flex. Dude, I, I, I want to... I, okay. Editor cover, I guess. I was going to message you back first off. Happy birthday, dude. Second... Because I'm recording this as like a video right now, so that's why I'm gonna go through it. This is, oh, I can explain more at the end if you want. You, know, you can ask questions. Okay, back in. But basically, so ball can just jump up and slam, and immediately, like, do his pile drive. So he doesn't have to do any text or anything like that. It makes it more easy for other players. Makes it so like, uh, you know, it's just a, a fun thing you can do mid fight. Makes it more mobile. Makes it more destructive. Adaptive shields, shields granted per target reduced from 75 to 50, duration increased from 9 to 12 seconds, cooldown reduced from 15 to 12. Basically, if you play it right, you can have shields up at all times, but it won't be as strong. So, regardless, ball is a little bit tough for me. I don't play ball that often. I wanted to make him more fun without breaking him, and I think I maybe underpowered him a little bit, but I think he'll be still fun and bouncy, which I think is kind of cool, so we'll see. Um, but this one was definitely one of the most tough for me to do. Upline is to get sub to Echo Flex. Appreciate it. Now, this one was tough. Zarya. Primary damage minimum primary fire minimum damage increased from 75 to 85. So it used to be 90, so I put just under 90. Particle cannon, secondary fire. Alt fire explosions no longer hurt yourself. Alt fire knockback increased by 150%. So from what I wrote. It should still work on yourself. It sh you should still be able to right-click yourself, but it won't hurt you. But you can bounce. You know? We got the first one. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Yo, genius. Your tank changes are dumb as shit. Your fat ass is reducing too much blood to your brain. I don't know what you ever become a no name in the Overwatch content creator community. Motherfucker. It literally says in the first line. This is a limited edition experimental card. We will feature over the top balance changes coming directly from Overwatch Con. Over the top. Over. Over the top. Dude. I know reading for you is very tough at a third grade level. But Jesus Christ. Please. Keep it together. Don't, listen, the great part of a toilet is sometimes if the toilet's full of shit, you can just close the lid and you don't have to see it anymore. I want you to close your lid so we don't have to see the shit spewing out of here. Does that make sense? Alt okay, so particle barrier. So this one was interesting. Health increase from 200 to 250. So barrier, so bubble right now is 200. It'll be 250, but the size is increased by 50%. So that means it'll take a lot more damage because it's much bigger. <laughs> Bears can't read. It'll be much bigger, so it'll take more Thanks. damage. You just killed a man, dude, lol. Good. Fuck him. I play Red Dead Redemption. If you never watched me play Red Dead Redemption, you have no idea the murderous instincts I have. Anyways, this way it gives like a little bit more protection. It gives good charge. But the thing I was afraid of is if I increase the... This is what me and Emong talked about. Increasing the health of it. Because I think Bubble just pops so fast that it's not really that useful anymore. Because as the game's evolved, people understand that if everybody focuses the bubble, you'll blow up the heart of the target that's getting bubbled is still. Um, well, the old style used to be don't shoot the bubble. So returning back to that, like, don't shoot the bubble type of style would mean that Zarya would lose out a lot of charge. But if you increase the size of it, he'll end up getting more protection radius of people around him. Plus... Um, more people will inadvertently shoot it by accident. So that's why I thought that maybe this would be a good way to keep her good charged. I also upped it, brought the floor up a little bit just in case because I don't know how it'll work. And projected barrier, health increase from 200 to 250. 
Thank you. Uh, oh, these are the two. Okay, but they're the same thing. They're just ones for the other, each bubble. <sighs> Basically, Zari needed some help, and that's kind of what I thought for it. So, what did we learn here, chat? One, people are dumb. Two, I hope you guys will enjoy the tank changes. I'll go through the rest of them really quickly. Um, and then I can test all of the stuff as well. So, the experimental disappeared. I haven't clicked off yet, so I still have it. All right. So, these are song juice changes. Here updates damage. Coach Gun now has two charges. Cooldown increased from 12 to 14 seconds. Hip fire recovery reduced from 0.25 to 0.22. Take aim. Aim down sights. Pen movement penalty reduced from 30% to 10%. Cassidy, Peacekeeper, secondary fire. I think he removed secondary fire. It's gone. Combat roll, now usable while airborne. Flashbang, increased cooldown from 10 to 12 seconds. Deadeye, now spawns more tumbleweeds. Mind the thorns. I hate you, Sandu. Bastion, configuration, recon, bullet spread reduced by 15%. Configuration tank, now grants 100 bonus armor. Doomfist, health reduced from 250 to 225. Uh, shields gain through normal abilities increase from 30 to 40 landing time after confirmation reduced from 1 to 0.05 seconds so basically Doomfist ults a laser now so a insta kill IJ Best thanks for the prime for 3 months ever. appreciate Can't it wait to play it. thanks dude appreciate it Um. so yeah you guys yelled at me huh? Genji Wall climbing speed increased by 50%. Wall climbing now refunds double jump availability. Shuriken recovery reduced from 0.68 to 0.6. Hanzo, Storm Arrow, now ricochets off surfaces up to five times. It's not Storm Arrow anymore. It's Scatter Arrow. Surprise. Lunge, cooldown reduced from five to three seconds. Junkrat, grenade count increased by 100% and grenades drop in 30% wider area. Oh, that's a Marty Dom and a half. Frag launcher, impact damage reduced from 40 to 30. Minimum explosion damage reduced from reduced from 10 to 8. Concussion mine damage increased from 120 to 125. Minimum damage reduced from 30 to 20, 25. Hover jets, holding crouch while airborne increases falling speed. I think that's actually really cool. Concussive blast, cooldown reduces reduced from 9 to 8 seconds. Jump jet, cooldown reduced from 9 to 8 seconds. Reaper, movement step increased by 40% for 6 seconds after ending. Uh, okay, I know what that means. That basically, yeah, so you move faster after it's after you use the shadow step. Hellfire shotguns, pellet spread reduced by 15%. Uh, Soldier 76, automatic reloads heavy pulse rifle after 3 seconds of continuous use. That's for sprinting. Uh, tactical visor, now increased heavy pulse rifle damage by 10% while active. Sombra, hack. Affected targets now take 20% increased damage from all the sources for 3 seconds. Cooldown increase from 8 to 12 seconds. Machine pistol bullet spread reduced by 10%. Symmetra. Teleporting now increases movement speed by 50% for 1.5 seconds. So basically, I think of that and I think of rush. You rush to the TP and then immediately hold W. You just go crazy. Um... Oh, yeah, the hack is basically like a Discord orb. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. For everyone, rivet gun. Recovery time reduced from 0.6 to 0.45. Forge hammer hammer increased from 55 to 75 damage. I can't wait for the D.Va versus Torb battles. Overload, overload now increases forge hammer damage to 125 while active. Deploy turret damage reduced from 14 to 11. Tracer recall now restores all blink charges. Cooldown increased from 12 to 14. Pulse pistols, ammo increase from 40 to 50. Widow's Kiss, automatic fire, minimum damage after fallout increase from 3.9 to 5. That's the SMG. Automatic fire, Hope you maximum damage increase from 13 to 15. Basically, uh, Widow 76. Um, let me see. Oh, this is a, my, tw my whole Twitter is just a, a lit on fire at this point. Uh, infrared sights now resets grapple hook on cooldown, which I think is kind of cool. Now supports. Ana, sleep dart. Eliminating sleep tar sleeping targets resets the cooldown. I think that's sick. Nano boost. Now applying to Ana when used without a target. Ana can nano herself. Bap. Healing grenades now affect Baptiste as well. 
Regenerative Burst now damages enemies instead of healing allies. Uh, Exo Boots now do deals 40 damage to enemies within 4 meters upon landing. Oh man, the Baptiste Reinhardt slams are going to be wild. Um, Brig, Inspire no longer heals allies. Instead, a triggering Inspire now reduces the cooldown of Repair Pack by 0.5 seconds. Repair Pack charges increase from 3 to 5. Lucio, co sound barrier cost reduced by 30%, now deals massive damage to enemies Lucio lands directly on top of. <laughs> so basically, if Lucio beats on someone's head, you'll kill them. Sonic Amplifier, fire rate increased by 15% while wall riding. After one second of wall riding, this bonus is reduced by 50%. Mercy, Valkyrie, killing blows extend the duration by 3 seconds. Uh, staff and healing now re reduces from 55 HP to 40 HP over two seconds while connected. Basically, so you can't just sit there and pocket. You have to move around. Healing returns to its normal two HPS over over two seconds while not active. Resurrect can now be canceled by using secondary fire while channeling, refundering 50% of its cooldown. Wait, can now be canceled by using secondary fire while channeling. Okay, so basically you can just cancel res. So if it's a bad res, you get out. Biotic Grass. Biotic Grass healing now consumes more his own health if used while out of energy. Holy hell. So basically, you could just sacrifice yourself and be like, yeah! Biotic Orb. Allies that receive at least 100 healing from the same Biotic Orb are cleansed of all status effects. Enemies that suffer at least 100 damage from the same Biotic Orb are slowed by 30% by for 1.5 seconds. Fade now cleanses status effects from players. Mora passes through and allies that are, are around her when it ends. So basically, if Mora fades through you, it uh, it cleanses you. Now, I put in a request, and I think I got, I think I got monkey pod, monkey's pod. Damage amplification reduced from twenty five percent to twenty percent can now be applied to barriers, turrets, and other attackable objects. No longer reveals the position of its target through line of sight. Line of sight. Line of sight return time reduced from 3 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Harmony Orb, line of sight return time reduced from 1.3 to 1.5 seconds. Transcendence, total healing reduced from 18, 1800 to 1200. Now applies Discord Orb to nearby enemies. So if you trank into a team, everybody gets Discord Orbed. That's where I got Monkey Paw. Because I asked, I was like, Violet, you should totally just throw Discord into the abyss. And Violet was like, okay. How about everybody gets it then? <laughs> like, wait, what? Thank you. What's fantastic is people still don't realize most of these are based on April Fool's experimental batches and aren't actual live updates to the game. Oh, I know that. But I even told, I even talked to Blizzard about that. I said, hey, you understand that this is going to be, this is how this is going to go. And, uh, yeah.